Hi, welcome to the in-depth exotic guide to Gajalarhorn, the exotic rocket launcher. Gajalarhorn is a solar-based heavy weapon that is incredibly detailed and well-crafted. There are 11 upgrade tiers for this weapon and it requires Ascendant Energy and Relic Iron to upgrade, as well as weapon parts and glimmer, of course. Gajalarhorn has an ammo capacity of 5 before any upgrades from your armor are applied. You'll notice mine takes 7 rounds due to my exotic armor. Now, in the first stage of upgrades for this weapon, you have Soft Launch, Controlled Launch, and Smart Drift Control. These all give you various bonuses to recoil at the expense of velocity. I personally don't care about my rocket launcher's recoil, and honestly, between the three, I don't notice much of a difference at all. The second group of options includes Quick Draw, Snapshot, and Speed Reload. These are all meant to speed up the weapon, um, and they all have their uh, various uses. Uh, I think Quick Draw is very good for when you quickly need to disperse a group of mobs as they're coming towards you. Speed Reload is uh, nice for um, being able to shoot all your rockets, let's say, at a boss uh, as fast as possible. And Snapshot. Uh, that might be a little bit better for, I'd say, PvP. You get to aim down the sights a bit faster, and that does make a difference, especially in those situations where people are rushing you. Now, the two upgrade options for this weapon are tracking as well as wolf pack rounds. Tracking, as you can see here, makes shells fired from this weapon track their targets, which is basically like a heat-seeking missile. And the wolf pack rounds, uh, basically when you shoot your weapon and it explodes, it will turn into a bunch of cluster missiles that will that are also heat seeking and will find nearby enemies. This works really well for taking down uh, mobs. So if you shoot one guy, it'll track him down. And if they're going in a big group, it'll track the whole group effectively and then disperse into a bunch of cluster bombs that will kill everybody nearby. Uh, especially with low level mobs, it'll just clear the whole room. Um, all right, so basically, let's get into the weapon here. Uh, let me just say that also it can get up to 300 attack once it's fully uh, upgraded, which mine is getting close. And according to Destiny DB, it does 396 damage. All right, let's get into the game and take a quick look at this. All right, so here we are. Um, I've been killing kind of all the mobs around me and testing it out myself lately. But uh, first things first, take a look at the modeling. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can see that there are uh, quite a few wolves all over the gun. Apparently there's one for each day that the weapon modeler was working on the gun. So he worked on it 16 days. There's 16 wolves on it. You can see three when you look down the scope. Uh, one up top, three on the side there. Uh, there's a big one on the front of the weapon as well. That looks really awesome. Which uh, a little trivia for you, looks very similar to the Crest of Alpha Loopy exotic armor, if I'm correct. Alright, let's demonstrate uh, the heat-seeking aspect to this gun. Uh, right now, I'll also uh, point out that I have reloaded this weapon quickly. I'm going to take that off, and I'm going to put on aiming this weapon is incredibly fast. And let's put on less recoil penalty to velocity. So we're going to pay attention to three things as I shoot this gun here. One, we're going to be looking at, uh, firstly, you can see how fast I'm aiming down this. This is pretty quick. Secondly, you're going to be paying attention to how fast I send this rocket downrange. And thirdly, try to pay attention to how much recoil I get when I shoot the gun. But honestly, uh, the differences are so little, it's going to be kind of hard to, to notice. But just try and look out for it. Okay, so here's the first shot. So you can see my recoil brought me to about here. And not that bad, really, honestly. And uh, the velocity was mm, quite fast. So the first tier of options will basically reduce this recoil so that you only kick up a little bit. Uh, but the velocity will go down a and end up being a little bit slower, which is not such a big deal unless enemies are running behind cover, in which case then it can be quite a pain in the butt because despite the fact that it's tracking, if they hide behind cover and they get something in between you and the weapon, uh, you can end up in a situation where you hit a wall. 
So again, let's take a quicker look at the cluster missiles. Uh, unfortunately, these guys are not going to clump up together. Let's get some more ammo. All right. Maybe we can get them out here. OK, so now that they're somewhat close together, let's take a look at the cluster missiles in effect. Well, you can see that they couldn't find anyone nearby, so they all just kind of exploded in place. Here's the reload speed, which is, you know, normal. Now we're going to take a better look at the cluster missiles. And you see as they went <laughs> everywhere around, even behind me for some reason, and tried to find guys to kill. All right, so uh, we are going to get a little bit more ammo for this. Now you'll notice that uh, heavy ammo synthesis, which costs 950 glimmer. These are very handy when you're using this weapon. And there's an event. Oh, that'll be great. We can we can shoot off a couple rockets together at this event. Now you can see that I have upgraded exotic armor, so uh, I can have seven rounds for this at any one time. And here's the war set. So we'll let this other guy take care of it while I just kind of provide overwatch. Ah, here we go. Okay, there is a few mobs up here. Now let's do, let's wreak a little havoc. See, we can see the cluster missiles in effect. And this is what I mean by having a slower velocity. Sometimes it can end up, uh, guys can end up walking behind objects and you can end up hitting someone, unfortunately. Now let's wait for another drop site. This is actually a good timing. I get to show you guys this during a public event. All right. Let's wait for him to drop another one. And here we go. Now you can see how that tracked. It had a wicked curve in it. I love that. Let's try and hit this servitor. <laughs> oh, buddy, that's awesome. We'll kill this fallen. Try to run away. Just try. And that's it. Finished. Oh, God, an ascendant energy. Perfect. Okay, so that is basically Gajalerhorn everything that you need to know about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be posting uh, some more videos soon, going over all the exotic weapons that I have. I do have quite a few. And uh, stay tuned. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.